How to create a search bar in Flutter. Let's start with a search icon within the app bar. If we press on the search icon, then we call a message show search, whereas we can implement inside of a new class our search behavior, and we need to override here four methods. With this, we can already click on the search icon, and then we have the search bar within our app bar. Next, you can define the leading icon within the search bar, and also the clear action icon within the search bar. If we click on the leading icon, then we want to close the search. With this, if I click on this arrow back button, then we go back to our previous screen. And secondly, if we click on the clear action button, then we want to remove the input of our search bar. With this, if we click on this clear button, then the input of the search bar is cleared. In case the search bar is already empty, then we also want to close our search. As a result, since the search input is empty and we click on the clear button, we close the search. Next, under the search bar, we want to build the suggestions. Therefore, we create a list of suggestions that we display inside of a list view builder and each suggestions we want to build as a list tile. With this, we have a list of suggestions displayed under the search bar. If we click on one suggestion, then we want to put the suggestion into our search input. With this, if I click on a suggestion, then you see the search input is changing. After this, we call also the method show results. And with this, we don't display any more the suggestions. Instead, we display the results. And in our case, we simply display then the query, our search input. With this, if we click on a suggestion, then we display the result page. And lastly, if we type anything into the search bar, then we want to update our suggestions. Therefore, we create within our class a search results list and inside the suggestions we map over our search results and for each of the search results we check then basically if our result contains the search input. With this we only display the suggestions that match with the search input. Let's also try it out. I type here something different and you see always the suggestions are updated. How to filter a list view using a search text field in Flutter. Let's start with a search text field. Inside the search text field, we want to search for books that have a title and an image. And therefore I create a list of books and I put here three different books inside. Next, back in the main file, we want to create in our state this list of books. And we also want to display under our search bar a list view. And inside of this list view, we want to display each of the books in a list tile. So we display an image and also the text, our book title. And finally, we want to filter the books depending on the search input. Therefore, let's go back to the search text field. And every time if we change anything in our field, then we want to call the search book method. And with this, we get every time the query of our search text field. And lastly, we take then all of the books and filter each of the books. And then we basically check if the book title contains our search input. Let's also put the suggestions back into our state, into our books variable. With this, we can search for a book title and the list below is always filtered based on the search input. And finally, if we click on one of the books, then we want to navigate to a new page, the book page, and put the book on which we have clicked inside. Within this book page, we display within the app bar the book title and within the scaffold body property, we display the image. With this, we can click on one of the books and we navigate to a new page where we display the book title and the book image. Music